it has been far too long since I have done a cupcake making video, and because I have a wholesale order I have to fill, now would be the perfect time to get on that. I have to make 30 uh, chocolate strawberry swirl cupcakes today. So I'll probably have to wiggle these around after I pour it all in. That's what I had to do last time. So now I'm just smoothing off the tops a bit. I never worry if it goes off the sides because you can always peel that off later. Besides, real cupcakes are rarely ever perfect. I'm just going to keep smoothing this. It's going to harden up pretty fast here so that I can move right on to the piping. Now I am ready to pour in my life solution to the piping. And in here I already have poppy seeds. Now this is just half the piping. I decided it would probably be a good idea because this is a big batch to split it up. So, there's that. I'm going to just mix this up real quick. <laughs> Soap Supplies is going to be having a true red mica. I mean a real red. Cherry delightful red. Not, you know, brick, which is what most micas end up looking like. They're researching that right now and I am thrilled. You better believe I will be buying a lot of that. Whoop! Hey, don't fall off. That's not fair. This is still a little runny, but I'm impatient. <laughs> well, cool. I have some left over. Which, the next thing I do for my piping is I put another little hoop in the middle so that I can pipe around that one as well. My piping has a double, double stack on it. 
I, I think I could have put all the piping together in one batch for this one. I forgot that the fragrance oil kind of uh, keeps trace at bay. This particular one does, at least. That's okay. And then, I'm now for round two. This piping set up a lot faster than the other one. I kind of don't know why. Could have to do with the temperatures. I think my heat gun is not accurate. I mean, most of the time I soak at room temperature anyway, and I don't even use the heat gun, but because I'm not working from ice cubes with my live solution like I normally do, I have to wait a lot longer and it's not as precise. You know, this piping tip I really don't like for this specific type of cupcake. Um, this is not my piping tip that I normally use for cupcakes, but it was the one that I used when I first made these, and now that they've been wholesale ordered, I have to try to, you know, copy it exactly. So I have to keep using it, but every single time I look at it, I'm like, no, this is not the best one. I have a better one. <laughs> Whatever, if they like it, I am happy. I am really, really glad that this is my last wholesale order for the year. I don't like wholesale orders. I don't like them. They make me feel rushed. I never feel like my product looks as good because I'm trying to duplicate. And I know it's a skill. It's a skill to be able to recreate things and you know, not have to have your emotions so tied into what you're designing all the time. In other words, you don't have to feel good about it, you just do it because it's your job. I understand that. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> I'm working on it though, I'm working on it. I've seen some ice cream molds lately for like the bottom of an ice cream cone. The temptation is real, y'all. I want those molds. <laughs> I think I could make some pretty cool ice cream soaps. I really do. Okay. There, round two. Now the top, I don't put a little poop poop on it, as my mom called it. Um, I just kind of swirl it around. that I've gotten it from and really liked it was TKB. Put some glitter on here. Okay, now for the strawberries. Just going to take these little pretty things and sit them right up in here. Still a little bit runny, but it's firm enough to hold the strawberry. I love how soap cupcakes look like real cupcakes. Like, I love that soap is able to look that way. Before I got into soap making, I didn't quite understand how artsy you can get with a bar of soap. And now that I've been making it for, uh, let's see, I've had my business since September 15th of 2011. But I've been making it since 2010, so I've had my business, I mean, I've been making soap for four years now. Gee, that seems like a long time. Um, anyway, I just had no idea until I started making them, but they could be so creative and so, you know, appealing to the eye. I'd always just bought back the body works and was done with it. <laughs> 
Alrighty, here is what the finished soaps look like. They're so pretty. I actually, I'm okay with the pie thing now that I've piped all of them. There are 31 of these. They only ordered 30, so I wonder what I should do with the other one. Well, thanks guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cupcake video. I plan on making some more of these pretty soon, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, bye for now.